Introduction to layer filters. When we go up to the layer property manager, and we go over to the left side here, we have filters. And we have two filters going on. One is all and it's turned on. So it turns on all the filters. Now on a filter, it doesn't delete them or turn them off or anything. It just shows us different sets of layers. And we also have one that says all use layers and can, it can show us just the layers that are being used at the moment. And we can go up and say we want to create a new property filter. And in here I'm going to call it arc layers or architectural. And in the name, since all my architectural layers start with the letter A, I'm going to just say A, and then I'm going to keep the wildcard character, means anything that comes after it. And I'm going to say OK. And now, in my list is only my architectural layers. Let's make another one. Let's call this Elect. Let's go Electrical Layers, all right? And since all my electrical layers start with the letter E, right, here's this, what layers are being in the filter, I can say OK. And now, when I apply just the electrical layers show up. Here's my architectural layers, here's my electrical layers. Here's all my layers. Let's go make another one. Let's say plum, plumbing layers. And all my plumbing layers start with P. And I'll say OK. And we'll do, while we're at it, let's do the mechanical. And mechanical layers. And they all start with M. Now, let's go under here, under architectural layer. And I'm going to say, let's make a new property filter. And I'm going to say, let's go with arc annotation. So anything that's an annotation letter, uh, it, type of fill, lay, uh, an annotation layer, they all, all my architectural layers start with the letter A. Then all my annotations are a dash anno. And then I'll be a wildcard after that. And you can see all of these are annotation layers. So here I can come down and it just shows me my annotation uh, layers. So again, here's all, all my arc layers, including doors and columns. And here's just my arc layers for annotation. I can always go back to all and I can see all my layers. So here's a handy way that we don't have to display every single layer, the final layers that we need. So these are called layer filters and they're very handy to build them and then uh, we can use them so that we don't have to sift through as many layers in our layer property manager dialog box.